A word from this video sponsor. Got an idea for a circuit, widget, or device that you want a rapid prototype or sell? Check out JLC PCB. They offer their board manufacturing services starting at two bucks for five boards and only take a few days from start to finish. So make sure to check out JLC PCB. And once again, thanks for making this video possible. Now let's get on with the video. Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another project video. This one will hopefully be a quick one. It's fairly simple. Um, in theory, in implementation, things get a little tiny. <laughs> so here you can see they sent a um, magnifying glass, like one of these like roller um, bookmark sort of things going on here that doubles as a magnifying glass because today we are going to be soldering something absolutely tiny. So I um, this is actually pretty fortuitous. Um, the chips and the LEDs actually arrived on the exact same day that the PCBs arrived. Usually I have to wait um, because I'll order parts from off eBay um, and I don't do rush shipping so it takes usually like a month or so. But luckily everything kind of arrived at the same time. Here you can see I have two sets of boards. Let's just um, give these a quick tear open. Probably what I am going to end up doing is um, assembling these off camera, um, kind of given the size and the difficulty in filming. I don't believe I'll be actually able to film most of it. Um, so I'll probably just do a jump cut and have these guys fully assembled uh, because these are absolutely tiny. So I have two main boards here and they're both similar. Um, as you can see, I've opted for the uh, black solder mask as well on these boards and these came out really super sharp. Wow. Let's just focus in on there. You can see I did um, I did a bit of a no-no. I put um, vias in the uh, the LED SMD pads. These are 0603 LEDs, and as you can see, it's in a small array for um, basically a numerical. Well, I guess technically alphanumeric uh, segment, so it can actually display A through F, and um, you know zero through nine, like you'd expect. Um, this was sort of semi-inspired by um, the old um, integrated LED um, displays that they had back in like the 70s and 80s that you know no longer exist. Or... Buy the new old stock, but they're ridiculously expensive. So I thought I'd, I'd try my hand at my uh, making my own. So that's why I ordered some 0603 orange LEDs, and I thought I'd, I'd spruce things up. And uh, you can see here. Uh, this one is just a um, essentially matrix addressing so that I minimize how many pins I'm going to be using. You can see here I have um, it kind of set up as um, one side is the vertical columns, the other side is the horizontal rows. And because of the way that I did this, I had to put, I didn't have enough room for vias outside of the pad, so I had to actually do that. And um, it's buttoning up pretty close. I'm going to have to be careful soldering the um, 0.1 inch headers for the legs. Uh, the idea is this just goes straight into a breadboard and it allows easy prototyping. Now, this guy, this guy actually has a bit of a secret. You'll notice it has a lot fewer leads. And oh, I wish that they would have put the designator on the bottom. I should have put a note uh, when I ordered the PCBs. But anyway, not not that big of a deal. But um, here you can see that um, there's actually a microcontroller on board, and that's where this guy comes in. It's a um, PIC 16F88, and I've yet to write the firmware for that, so that'll be fun. And I broke out tiny little pads for the ICSP programming header. I was a bit naughty. I didn't put any um, capacitors to decouple the microprocessor, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm going to PWM and uh, multiplex the entire array. Uh, but yeah, that'll be that'll be pretty interesting. There, the LED, the active uh, lit up area is um, the same between the two. It's just um, the one with the controller is wider. I had to make it wider so I can fit um, everything in there. There's quite a bit more wiring to do in that case. Uh, but we're going to assemble 
one of each of these and uh, give it a go and see how it looks. So hopefully you guys can see just how small these LEDs are. They're 0603 and um, I've soldered them up. The pin spacing I was hoping to get um, basically in line with um, like a dip package, but it's actually one, um, you know, one space wider. Um, so it's, it's a bit asymmetrical if you put it on a uh, breadboard, but um, yeah, this was pretty much as tight as I could get it. Actually, I probably could have put the, um, the pins along the top and the bottom, um, but I had another issue. Um, I need 11 wires, basically, so that wouldn't quite have worked as nicely. Uh, but anyway, you guys can see here, it is all soldered up. Um, I did a pretty good job of keeping everything kind of symmetrical and in line, with the exception of this one on the top bothers me, so I might rework that. But um, anyway, yeah, let's um, hurry up, write some code, and uh, get this guy flashing and see what we can do with it. Okay, pardon the handheld nature of this um, clip, but here you can see I programmed <clears throat> a very simple program for the the ATmega32U4, and I just arbitrarily use this because it's what I had easily available, and I basically have it iterating through um, counting from 0 through 9, basically manually multiplexing. This is in a loop, obviously. And I'm inserting kind of dead time at the end to limit brightness because it gets way too bright and actually browns out the processor because right now I currently have it directly wired uh, with no resistors, which is not a good way to do it. So I'm using this basically. I'm relying on this uh, dead time delay in order to uh, turn off the display so that the average current is much lower. Anyway, um, this eventually will need to be uh, rewritten to utilize interrupts so that it can do multiple displays simultaneously. But this is a good uh, proof of concept for now. Here you can see the display works perfectly. Look at that. And it looks rather nice too, I'm surprised. This is plenty, uh, plenty bright enough. And I should have pretty good uh, control over resolution so I can actually um, uh, modulate this to do software configurable brightness just like I did on my uh, tiny LED word clock. Yeah, you can see. Works a treat. I'm using a uh, similar font to uh, HP made uh, similar type of displays where it's not a full matrix. It's actually uh, missing the center parts. You can clearly see it um, basically only has um, the sides and then uh, three rows basically, but I'm I'm driving this like a matrix. So if I actually had inserted um, diodes in the center parts where they're actually blank right now, um, I could actually dress this as a full. Um, it'd be a four by seven matrix, uh, but I'm just doing um, simple numbers and alphanumerics, and that's good enough for me. But yeah, you can see it doesn't show up. It's a lot oranger in real life. It's closer to what you're seeing on my hand, but for some reason my uh, camera is making it look a lot whiter than it really is. But yeah. And every once in a while it does reset. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm guessing I'm pulling quite a bit more current than... Uh, yeah, the chip's getting a little warm. Anyway, I'm not going to run this for too much longer, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick demo um, throw together these little displays. I'm going to solder together probably like another five or seven of these and make a full clock uh, display out of these. That'll be pretty nifty. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, unfortunately, I just realized um, when I went back to look at the pinouts for the um, these displays in Eagle, for some reason, I think the file corrupted and I no longer have the the design board files. I have the schematic, I have the Gerber, so I can get more of these made, but I can't, I'd have to redesign them, basically. This guy's not too bad to do that, to redesign. It's fairly simple. The one with the controller was a bit of a pain to lay out, given how small it was, so unfortunately, uh, I'm going to have to redesign that. But at least I have the Gerber, so I can get as many of these made as I want. And wow, that looks absolutely stunning. Now, uses 20 LEDs per digit and um, 
I can get about, I think it's about a dollar, I think maybe about two dollars for a hundred LEDs, so that's enough for five digits. Uh, the main part is it's tedious, you know, as all get out in order to hand solder these, so with any degree of accuracy, I actually spent quite a bit of time getting these lined up so that they look straight. Anyway, yeah, if you guys are going to get these made, I would advise uh, uh, getting the panelized and using um, like a reflow oven and a pick and place or something like that or, you know, trying to assembly line it instead of doing it by hand manually because that is quite a pain. There are quite a bit of control wires because it's literally, um, it's 11 wires basically. Uh, one each for one of, you know, seven for the rows and then four for the columns. So it is quite resource intensive um, in terms of the microprocessor. But yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. This one was a rather quick one. Just to give you a, a size comparison compared to my hand, this thing is pretty tiny. It's, it's about on par with a 0.5 inch um, LED display, which is a fairly standard size. Uh, for character height so that just was a coincidence so i did not plan that at all anyway i'm gonna make a whole bunch more of these and uh, build a probably a clock or some kind of display out of it just because it's cool and uh, gonna look into getting uh some gray tinted um like perspex or something like that to put in front of this so that it can increase the contrast but i'd say it looks really good already um even without any any uh special um covering or anything like that anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'll um as always put up the design files well the board files in this case for now um on my hackaday.io page which i'll be creating shortly hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it inspires you to uh get into making random stuff like this too anyway i'll see you guys later bye